Stop it, you're eating my hair. Everybody, they're like, you sleep with a lizard? He's very good at cuddling. The only problem is he always wants to be the little spoon, which really makes me mad. But I love him. I let it be. You can see him just relax <laughs> in her presence. He is not like that with everybody. Normally after dinner, I'll ask my mom if I can bring him out if he's not already out. You're out so late. Chester. No, I don't have any honeys. <laughs> Mommy does. <laughs> if he's dirty or not, I'll give him a bath. Okay, 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 I'll help you. Come on, chunkamunka. His role in our life is very much like another dog. Where are you going, little guy? Chester. Love you, go. Come on, bud. I opened it for you. He walks around with them and everything. Dad always complains about how he almost steps on him. It's always interesting, too, to see what he gets into. Come here, sweetie. In early 2020, we started volunteering with this reptile sanctuary in New England. Snakes especially terrified me. My daughter Madeline, she loves them. I brought him home for a sleepover. Just saw that having him here, he fit right in. See if he wants a tomato. Here. You like a tomato. Look at this gushy one right there. Look. He was originally rehomed to the sanctuary. Something to be done with him every day. A lot of gear just to get them set up, and then they eat a lot. Good job, bud. I never in a billion years thought that this would be my life, ever. Do you give credit to Madeline because if she didn't love snakes, we would have never gone to volunteer. People always say how weird we are, and I'm like, yep. I'm just so grateful because my mom, we went out Chester the other. <laughs>